Well, it all comes down to this. For the second year in a row, we are in the regional Premier League playoffs. We are facing Enfield Town in the semi-final. We have got to get up to those Vanarama regional divisions. Let's see what happens here then. Hey, hello everybody, welcome back. It is the end of season three here on Dog Turds Into Diamonds. We are taking on Enfield Town in the regional Premier Leagues or Premier Divisions promotion playoffs. Enfield Town, it should hopefully be a winnable game. They finished third in the Ithmian League Premier Division. I still can't say Ithmian. Um, they had a decent season, obviously, to make playoffs, but they don't look fantastic. Um, in 42 games, they won 18 and drew 14. They got 68 points. So it is really a winnable game. Look, they've lost 10 games this season. We really should be expecting to advance here. They are on a really poor run. They have lost three and drawn two of their last five games. Hopefully, this is all set up to put to bed the horror of last season, the, the trauma of last season, when we ended up obviously losing to Hitchin in the, uh, the semi-final. I think we are a different animal now. I think we are a much, much better squad. I think the squad harmony is much better than this time last season. We'll have a quick look at that before we get into the game. But I think everybody, everything is set up for us to do really, really well here. Um, since you were last here, when we beat Farsley Celtic in the final of the Southern League Cup, we just played our last game of the season away at Bedford. A little bit of a local derby, of course, kind of 30 minutes between the two clubs. And um, yeah, we did very, very well here. Um, Bedford did have some chances playing at home. They weren't completely out of it. But we did come away with a 3-1 win. We'll have a look at the goals now. And as you can see, Ponticelli got two goals. Really pleased to get him involved. And Demalio Brown-Sterling continued his good form. He is going into the playoffs. Not getting twos and threes like he has done in past seasons. But he's scoring regularly again, which is good. A nice little finish here as he was put through one-on-one. -on -one. They then equalised right on half-time. But then in the second half... We did kind of take control. We missed a lot of chances before Ponticelli. A nice little slotted finish there. He is, of course, primarily a striker. He's playing on the right wing, but really he's got more characteristics of a striker. And he scores another lovely long-range goal there. So it's nice to have him as an option going into these playoffs. I did make a couple of changes. I kept Hazeman out of the team just to avoid him getting another book in and being unavailable for today. I bought in Cropper. Um, I also bought in Ponticelli and Spencer. And I continued with Jack Brown in the number 10 role, really just to make sure all of those got some minutes on the field and uh, had a little bit of fitness going into the playoffs. The same reason I bought Richardson and Crowsdale off the bench and also Leo Gaxa. So just really trying to keep the whole squad as fit as possible for whatever happens in these playoffs. Now, if we look at the team for today, uh, this time last season, we had players wanting to leave, players who were unhappy all over the field. Um, we have got, and now I am wondering where on earth is Hazeman. What on, what on earth has happened? Oh my goodness. You are watching this in real time. I have, you can see, I have one player missing from the start in 11 and I have two players missing from the bench. I am guessing these are players that have finished their contract and have decided to leave the club. Oh, uh, well, this is interesting. 
let's have a quick look here. I was just talking about how everything has been going so well and how we don't have the drama of last season. Kingsley James has finished his contract, but obviously deciding to stay for the moment. The same with Demalio Brown Sterling. Um, Jack Berman, he is, I think, now released. He is, I'm going to offer him a contract. Uh, we had him in on loan. He doesn't want to sign because he didn't enjoy it. Um, okay, he came in as the sub goalkeeper. I think he made one appearance during the season. Um, Scott Reese, I will want to uh, re sign in the future. Now, Ronan Mara's left. I thought he left tomorrow. I thought he left after this game. He wanted to sign, but he wants a huge amount of money, or at least he did last week. Um, no, now he's quite happy to have a small amount per appearance, which is very good. I am going to make sure we get him signed and hopefully he can be back in the squad for the final should we get there. So £150 an appearance, not bad for Ronan Ma. We'll have some of that. Um, unfortunately, now I've got a, a bunch of youth team players that I don't want to renew their contracts. Um, they're never going to be good enough to get into the first team. They're probably a little bit better than I expected to get in our youth intake, but they're never going to be good enough. Now we come to the big one. Oh man, Matt Richardson. I mean, he's our third choice centre back. It would have been useful to have had him for these playoffs. We do have other options, so I'm not going to panic. I would rather have had him, but I'm not going to panic. And Kalen Hazeman. Oh man, this is the this is the one that hurts. This is the one that hurts. You don't have another club right now. You don't have any offers. Why not just stay and play these playoffs, Kalen? Come on. He has no interest in signing. Oh, man. Well, that is pretty horrible. All right, what do we do? Now, the obvious answer is Ryan Crowsdale comes into Hazeman's position, maybe. They are kind of like for like. If we just compare the two of them. And you thought this was going to be a straightforward episode. Kalen Hazeman, clearly the better player, but they're not dissimilar. They are not dissimilar. They are very, very kind of like for like. I think I am going to start with Crowsman. And we also have Spencer on the bench. So or do I go with Spencer for his extra fitness? Do you know what? I'm going to go with Crowsdale. At the very least, he gets some fitness together. Kevin Loco is going to come in as uh, the uh, the sub defender. And we also have Jamie O'Hara, of course, retiring after this. He will come in as the extra midfielder. And then up front, well, I guess I'm going to bring in the 17-year-old Mark Miller. We've also got Gaxa and Ponticelli. So we're kind of well served up there. So, I mean, I can deal with this. <laughs> I can deal with this, but not having Kalen Hazeman is a real, real killer. A real shame. Um, but there you go. That's the team going into today. What we don't have is upset players. We don't have anybody that wants to leave. We don't have anybody who's annoyed at me. We don't have anybody who is upset about their tactical role. So in those terms, everything is good. We are kind of going into this game on a high. Let's hope we get Ronan Ma signed up before the final. Um, obviously, we want to we want to talk as if we're going to get to the final. Let's uh, let's see if if Ronan Ma is signed up, then obviously that gives us that that little extra bit of depth to the squad for that for that all important game. Now we're going to go in here. I'm just going to make a couple of tactical changes. I just want to again. I'm a little bit nervous that. FM does sometimes seem to throw up the unexpected in the big one-off games. So I think what I'm going to do here is I am just going to 
not play out from the back because they are playing a 4-2-3-1. So I'm not going to play out from the back and I'm going to distribute to the flanks. And aside from that, I'm not going to get stuck in just to try and keep the possibility of getting bookings down. So we're going to start like that and we're going to see how it goes. Um, that aside, where you can see the team, Blair, Williams, Clements, Sonwumi and Honoriasse at the back. Ryan Crowsdale and Kingsley James, the two holding midfielders. Max Waltman on the right, Thomas Hughes on the left, Jack Brown in the number 10 role. And of course, the man, the legend, Demario Brown Sterling up front. So what is my assistant suggesting here? OK, pick up where you left off. I think uh, let's have a look. We're favourites for a reason. We're the favourites here. Give something for. I'm t oh my goodness! What did I pick? The only way to win to keep our promotion dreams alive. <laughs> I really didn't mean to pick that one. Some of them. Some of the. Have you ever done that where you just have a click without wanting to do it and it can <laughs> really mess things up? Fortunately, they seem to respond pretty well. Let's get into this then. Let's put the pressure on them of keeping our promotion dreams alive. Here at Stevenage's Stadium. So again, another big stadium day out for the fans. I think it's a 7,500 stadium. It looks maybe two-thirds full, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit less than that looking at the seats now. Um, I don't think Enfield have per perhaps bought too many fans. Let's hope we can... Get this job done early on, shall we? Brown Sterling heads over in the second minute. So a confident start anyway. We've got the possession of the ball. Brown Sterling down to Hughes. Hughes, he has not scored for a long time now. He's on a bit of a barren run. The 26-goal man would be a great time for him to come up with something today. So early on... Early on, we do seem to be on top. We've got the possession. We've had the early chances. Just going to encourage the players. Can we really just get an early goal and just settle the nerves down? It's kind of starting to drag on now. No more highlights as it stands. I might want to change a little bit later the midfield around because, again, with Crowsdale and James, there's no creativity in that midfield. We're really relying on the front four to come up with the, the chances as Brown Sterling heads are over again. Another highlight. Can we now get a shot on target at least? Waltman loses it. That's a, a loose pass. Long ball from the keeper. Brown Sterling gets in Jack Brown. And Jack Brown blasts it straight at Hare in their goal. Really should have finished it. Another corner. Piling on the pressure here. Jack Brown has wasted the best chance of the game so far. Williams puts it in and another one headed over by Brown Sterling. Very, very poor. Let's encourage them again. We've had nine shots here. We've got a 0.9 XG at the moment. Can we make something here? Just before half time, Waltman. Again, another save from the goalkeeper. Waltman is another player that has been quite a long time without a goal. Off the bar. Brown Sterling goes down. No penalty given. Crazy goal mouth scramble. And they survive again. And they have made it to half time. Incredible. Really don't know how. I'm going to stick with the same at the moment. As we've been the better team here. Come on. I'm going to stick with the same. I mean, we've got some more offensive changes that I can make. They're really not uh, not really causing us any serious problems. So we've got we've got good good motivation, good energy for the second half. They get the first highlight of the second half. This would be typical, wouldn't it? Foul goes forward. No penalties, please. Attack broken up and Waltman breaks. Into Brown. 
Back to Waltman, but he's not going to get to that. A poor pass. We win it back with some wound meat. Into Hughes. Can he finish? He can. Thomas Hughes, come on. Let's keep this pressure up, boys. Let's not let this slip now. I mean, you have to say it was coming. But until that first goal goes in, I mean, you are always nervous in these situations. Brown Sterling with the flick on. And Thomas Hughes gets goal number 27 of the season. Now can we really take charge in this second half? Some Wumi and Clements have been booked. Let's make a couple of little changes here. Brown Sterling, has he taken a knock? No, it just says he's given everything. I think I will make that change that they're suggesting. And I'm going to change. Do I change a defender or not? I mean, they're both pretty tired. I'm going to change Brown Sterling out. And yeah, I am going to go for Ponticelli. He got two goals in the last game. Hopefully he can continue that form. Let's just get another one here. Just wrap this game up for goodness sake. They have had one shot the entire game. All right. Refrain from shouting. Every time I go to make a shout, a highlight starts. Crowsdale, he's done all right today. Ball put in and Hughes forces a save from Hare again. We've put far too many straight at the goalkeeper. And a long ball is going to find Brain. And he blasts it over. A little bit of a let off there and straight into another highlight. I'm going to make changes to the back line in a moment. We've got two very tired centre backs. They've obviously been really tested today by Enfield's long ball game. And they're in again here. Sartorius to Sterling. And it's a great save from Blair. What a stop. And we are living dangerously here. We have let them right back into this. Son Wumi. So Wumi heads it away and Waltman is on the break. It's going to come to nothing though. 15 minutes to play. What changes do we make? Let's have a look at the team here. We've got 15 minutes. The defenders are absolutely shattered. Let's get. Do I take. I mean, Son Wumi is, is our most important defender. Honor Yassi is playing very well here. I think what I'm going to do is actually change both of them. Jim Fenlon for Honoriasi. He's going to go to right. Whoa, no, he's not going to go for Sam Blair. Jim Fenlon is going to go to right back for Jay Williams. And Sonwumi is going to come off for Loco. Just to get two fresh faces on, a, uh, on at the back there. Those two are absolutely shattered. Waltman is playing a very poor game. Um, we are going to now just shoot on target. I'm going to take off overlaps. I'm not going to start time wasting yet, but we are going to hold our shape. And we are going to get stuck in just to finish this game off. I feel like they are getting back into this and we need to just assert ourselves with a bit more physical presence to get this over the line. I feel like we've had a couple of warnings with their counter-attacks and we've now just got to see this out and make sure they don't get another chance because they've missed two there's really no guarantee they're going to miss a third so let's get this job done in for Ponticelli is that onside it is onside and Ponticelli scores I think that's is that his 10th of the season maybe I didn't I didn't see when it came up I can't remember if maybe he's got 10 or if he's got six or seven um, but he's he came in really to be a, a bit of competition for Brown Sterling. And he's done us proud there coming off the bench. I mean, that is very, very close, isn't it? I think the right back just about played him on side there. That's excellent stuff. I mean, we did dominate the game. The, the, the scoreline and the, the opportunities they had on the break might have been a little bit nervy. But all in all, we absolutely deserve that. We are into the playoff final. We've got half of the job done. Now we've just got to go and finish this off. 2-0 on the day. Well done. Congratulations. You've all dreamt of playing in the final. 
I think what I'm dreaming of much more than playing in the final is the dream of playing in the Vanarama regionals. So let's make sure we get that done. Um, you can see we've got a number of players going out of contract here. Um, at the end, at the end of this month, they are they are expiring. No, that's so that is at the end of this new season. We have crossed over to a new season. So all of these have got a year left. Thomas Hughes, Jack Brown, Max Waltman, Honoré Assé, So Me, and Morton Spencer. So that is very, very good. We've really, apart from Hazeman, we really managed to sew up the, the core of the team for this coming season. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, yeah, I've got to have a look at the coaching staff. I'm going to see how many places I can get and who I want to renew. But right now, I just cannot look past uh, this next game. I don't want to concentrate on anything else at all. It is all about this final. So we're into the final after beating Enfield at Stevenage's Lamex Stadium or Lamex Stadium. I will do the press conference in just a moment. The only thing I'll do before we leave here is just look at the balance. Yeah, it's still 118,000. Um, that's not the best, is it? So, um, or maybe the money from that game has not yet been put on. So when you come back, we'll see how the finances, the finances are looking. For now, I will come back when we, uh, when we get to the final. I'm guessing we've got seven days. I will see you guys then when you will find out exactly who we are playing for the uh, the final playoff to decide who goes to the Vanarama Regionals. Well, here we go then. It is Hyde United at the Pirelli Stadium, Burton's Pirelli Stadium, for a place in the Vanarama Regionals. Hyde finished third. You can see there in the Northern Premier League. If we have a look at their their season, they uh, very similar to the last game. They've lost 12 this season. They've uh, they've conceded 44, so more than one a game. They did get to 80 points though, which isn't bad. Um, I think it is going to be tougher than the last one, but I think definitely it's a game that we can we can hopefully go about winning. Um, Let's have a look at what formation they play. So they play the same formation as us. I think I'm going to adopt the same strategy as the last game. Um, I, uh, I can't see their stats because the season has rolled over. So uh, I don't even know who their most dangerous players are. But um, I think we're, we're pretty confident in setting up against this formation now. Um, Ronan Ma has got offers from all sorts of clubs. Some higher placed in the in the pyramid than us so I don't know if he is going to sign so we haven't got Ronan Marr in um, we've only had a couple of days rest since the last game so it's kind of a good job that I uh, I did take some players off so we are going to start with the same team as the last as the last game Crowsdale is a little bit tired but I'm going to go with him again I feel like he did play well and um Thomas Hughes also a little bit tired, but apart from that, I think we're okay. They're in the same position as us, so we've got no disadvantage there. It's Blair, Williams, Clements, Sawunmi, Onorassi, James and Crowsdale with Waltman, Brown, Hughes and Brown, Sterling up top. The bench stays the same. Kevin Locko, Jim Fenlon, Jamie O'Hara in his last ever game for the club, Spencer, Ponticelli, Leo Gaxer and Mark Miller on the bench. So let's go and do this, boys. Let's go and make ourselves a Vanarama regional team. We cannot waste any more time in this division. We really are just too big for this division now. It makes absolutely no sense for us to continue there. Um, but it all depends on what we do here. Let's have a look. So... Um, We'll secure promotion with a win. I think we've got to go with that. Pump fists. Let's go and secure promotion. <laughs> Only Jay Williams likes the idea. Uh, <laughs> I really have to sort out my team talks. I'm just absolutely terrible at judging what the players want to hear. So uh, let's just make those same tactical adjustments that we did for the last game. 
We are not going to play out of defence. We are going to go into the flanks. And to start with, I am not going to get stuck in just to take down the risk of any red cards. So I'm going to start like that and we'll see how things go. Let's get into this game, boys. Let's go and make ourselves a Vanarama regional team. Come on. And this time it is a full house. Look at this. There seems to be very few spare seats around. So I think it is a 6,750 stadium. So if this is pretty full, that means hopefully some decent gate receipts at the end of this. And hopefully the prize money. Brown Sterling onto it early. Headed down by Waltman there. Brown Sterling back into Waltman. He's well marked, but he gets across him. Brown Sterling goes down, but there's no penalty given. Honoriassi wins the ball well. They still haven't got it away. Crows day and into Brown Sterling. Brown. And it's just wide. I thought the keeper had saved it. I thought we got a corner there, but it's a good start. Let's see if we can take control here. We have got 72% of the possession. We are dominating the possession, but we are not turning that into highlights right now. And Hughes has picked up a knock. Is he going to recover? He's got a groin strain. Do we get Leo Gaxa in as Honoriassi heads over the bar? Do I give Hughes the chance to recover? Let's demand more from the players here. I think I've got to change him, haven't I? Thomas Hughes is going to have to come off. The other option is Ponticelli and Waltman going to the left wing. I think that might be the more favourable option given Ponticelli's form the last two games. Jack Brown can't find a pass forward. Now Crowsdale again. He's filled in very well for Hazeman there. And Brown Sterling. It's tipped off his toe right at the end. It looked like an open goal. Hughes takes the corner. It's away again. Are we going to lose the highlight here? We're not. Waltman could get it back in again. Comes out to Williams. Crowsdale. Waltman again. This time it's taken away from him. Let's make that change. Because Thomas Hughes is not going to last the game. Jordan Ponticelli. I hope I'm saying it right with a little bit of an accent on the C. Um, he goes to right wing. Waltman as the left inside forward. That is disappointing just with Hughes's creativity. I'm pretty sure Hughes has beaten the assist record this season. We are dominating the game in terms of chances. We just need to get a get ahead here as they get a free kick. Do not do this to me, football manager. It's a great save. It's not away and it's in. No. Oh my God. Goodness. Completely against the run of play. Wilson wins the ball in the air. Blair makes an amazing save there. It comes out to Jenkins. Completely unmarked. And Crowsdale can't get across to block it. And despite being the dominant team, we are behind here. I'm going to go attacking for the second half. This is so undeserved, although it does say they have had seven shots on target to our six. It's time for everyone to dig in. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We have got to do this now. Come on. Come on, boys. We cannot lose this. Now, I am going to... I'm just going to push up and we are going to get stuck in now. It's time. No messing about. A little bit wider and we're going to play a little bit quicker. Come on, boys. Don't do this to me. Come on. We have dominated that first half, but we are 1-0 down. We get a corner. Is this time for Jamie O'Hara and his set pieces? Williams into Ponticelli. Can he get a cross in? He can. To the back post for Waltman. Brown. And Jack Brown has equalised. Come on, Jack Brown. One of our first signings. He might have even been our first signing at the club. 
what a signing he's been. He's been watched in the last game by the Indonesia national manager. He is really, really growing as this club grows. Let's praise them and see if we can get a little bit more out of them as Brown is now very tired. They get another free kick and they head it off the bar. This is ridiculous. Do I change Jack Brown as they now come on to us? I'm going to switch back to a positive mindset rather than taking unnecessary risks. Williams gets it away. Can we build an attack from here? Goes all the way back to Honoriasi. Brown into James. Clements. Can we get that ball into the forwards? Can we create a chance? Waltman into Brown Sterling. Crowsdale now. Maybe we do need Jamie O'Hara, just that, that player to pick the lock. Ponticelli into Brown Sterling. Back to Brown and it's saved. He had the whole other side of the goal to aim at. I am going to make a change here for Brown. He's extremely tired as that corner is cleared away. Crowsdale gets it back into Ponticelli. Williams looking for the cross. Back to Crowsdale. At the back post, Waltman and Demarlo Brown Sterling. Is it offside? It is. Was that going in without the touch from Demarlo Brown Sterling? I think it may well have been. He is onside there as well. He is absolutely onside, no doubt about it. All right, what do we do? Ryan Crowsdale is shattered. We are going to bring Jamie O'Hara on for his passing ability. And we have one change left. We've got a lot of tired bodies out there on the field. I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. I'll leave Jack Brown on. He's no more tired. He's no more tired than anybody else. And certainly no more tired than some of their team, I would imagine. If we have a look at Hyde's formation, they're shattered as well. Let's encourage the players here. We dominate the second half again. Less possession, but more chances at goal. Can we just make one of these counts? Williams is now injured. He will have to come off. It's a good job we didn't make that last change. Williams puts it in. And Max Waltman is there. We are 12 minutes away from the Vanarama National or the Vanarama Regionals. We have plugged away. We have had to dig really deep here. We have had to face up to the adversity of going behind. But right now... We are on for promotion. Let's make that change. Jim Fenlon again showing what, what a masterstroke it was to not move him on when we bought in other players. Let's get this game over the line now. Right, let's stop overlapping. Let's just shoot on target. And I'll play for set pieces as well now with Jamie O'Hara on. Hold the shape. Slow the game down. And we are now going to press much less. Let's get this game over the line, boys. Come on. Let's praise the players. Just No, they're not interested in being praised. They're not happy with that. Let's get this done, boys. The last couple of minutes. Come on. It is there. And we don't get a trophy presentation. I wanted to see a trophy there. We have done it. We are into the Vanarama Regionals. We will see if it is north or south. But I am absolutely delighted with that. Max Waltman coming up with the important goal. As we get the unlocked achievement, we are up along with Mirtha and Nuneaton Borough who finished second in our division. Absolutely delighted with that. We get £10,000 prize money. What does that do to the finances? Uh, yeah, we've dropped under 100000 there, so that's very good. We made about 10000 in gate receipts and 10000 in prize money, so that's excellent. And we now have a wage budget for next season of £5,800. So we are going to enjoy 
spending some of that, we are going to have to get some top players in. The next episode will be the end of season review and we will speak a little bit in that end of season review about how we start to develop this team to the next level. I think we are largely there. I think we need very little improvement in, in, to, to just compete in the, the Vanarama regionals. But if we want to really challenge at the top, then maybe there are one or two positions that we really want to strengthen. The midfield, we may have to strengthen with Hazeman leaving. James is now out of contract at 32. And Brown Sterling might be a player we have to replace up front. But um, the, the, the base of a really, really good squad, I think, is already there. We've done that work kind of, we're, we're kind of a year behind with having to stay an extra year in the uh, the Southern League. So really, really pleased. We are finally up. We have done it. Um, we will see you in the next episode when we have a little review of everything that has gone on in this season and talk a little bit about where we are going for season four in the Vanarama regionals. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. We will see you next time.